Good day, eh? This is Sedlo. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, today, just a little quick thing. Um, when I first started mission making, I, it was uh, it was fairly simple. I didn't know much about it, and what I used to do, say I had a trigger happening somewhere three quarters of the way through the mission, I would change whatever I needed to do, edit it, and then fly the whole darn thing just to see if the trigger worked. Um, quickly realized that that was kind of dumb, and uh, what I do now is do test flags. And uh, Let me show you what I mean. Um, say we have a trigger down here. Um, I'm not sure, like, okay, take a photo on the right side, and we want that trigger to happen. This is what we're going to do. Up at the beginning here, I have a flag that goes on at mission start called test. Right now, um, at mission start, this flag will not be active, but what we can do is say, yes, that flag is going to be active on mission start. And we'll go back down and we'll find those, um, what did I say we were gonna do? Oh, the photo. Okay, we're gonna find this and we're going to add an or condition. Let's say time since flag and time since flag test is five seconds, then this should work. All right, let's uh, run it. Let's first of all, save this as a different name, okay? Never overwrite your, your final version. Always do have a separate name for your tests. So uh, we'll go there. So what do you expect is gonna happen? Five seconds after mission start, that uh, that action, that trigger will fire, and we can check to see, uh, well, I forgot what it was checking for. I think it was for, uh, it was gonna take a photo and play a voiceover. So let's uh, give that a go. As soon as my potato decides to wake up. Do you like this background? This is uh, included with reflected Reflected Simulations uh, MIG Killers campaign, you can set your backgrounds to different things. I like it. Just as much as I like waiting. Here we go. Okay, so let's unpause it here. Five seconds from mission start, we're going to have a picture appear. There it is. So you can test that trigger um, easily by uh, setting that test flag. And of course, when you are finished with all of that, you can um, go back and set that test flag to zero. And then go back, oh, hello kitty. Um, go back here and just erase the test flag condition. So yeah, that's a way you can um, test certain flags and things like that uh, quickly and easily within DCS without having to fly the whole darn mission. Maybe uh, common sense to a lot of people here, but it took me a bit of time to figure that out. All right, that's all I've got for you. Take care.